Snap, the parent company for Snapchat, reported fiscal 2023 first quarter earnings results and the stock was down nearly 20% on the day after these earnings were announced. So I've gone ahead and reviewed Snap's financial figures from the quarter and I've brought you the biggest highlights that I'm going to share with you in this video. I'm also going to answer if the 20% stock price decline was justified, right? Or is it an overreaction from the market? So let's begin. Again, starting, starting with revenue, which decreased by 7% to $989 million. This might be right off the bat the biggest disappointment from Snap's um, earnings release is the decrease in revenue. This is supposed to be a growth stock. It's valued like a growth stock. It's certainly not profitable on the bottom line. So if revenue is also decreasing, then why should investors be paying a premium valuation for Snap stock? And so understandably, the stock price declined in response to this revenue decrease. However, net loss did improve to $329 million. That was compared to a net loss of 360 million the year before. So despite revenue decreasing year over year, the company improved its net loss. That could be a result of efficiencies and cost cuts to reduce those costs to better align the business with the current macroeconomic headwinds. Snap is not only facing headwinds from a decline in advertising industry spending, but it's also facing headwinds from privacy policy changes made at Apple that makes it more difficult for Snap to sell targeted advertising. So it's facing a one-two punch of uh, difficulties generating revenue. Daily active users increased by 51 million to a total of 383 million year over year. And it's up by 8 million from the previous quarter. So solid growth in daily active users. If you compare this to uh, Meta Platforms, it has about 3 billion daily active users. So still a fraction of the size of Meta Platforms. Uh, now, that isn't to say it's going to reach that level, but just to put it into context, that's the biggest social media app. And uh, Snap is far, far away from those figures. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. Unfortunately, Snap, of those 8 million users that Snap added and 51 million, um, none of those were from North America. North American user growth was flat and has been flat at 100 million for three straight quarters. Why is that important? Well, North American users have a higher uh, per capita income. Since they generate more income, advertisers are more interested in influencing their purchasing decisions, right? Because they have more money, so they're willing to pay more. And so the average revenue per user is much higher for users from North America versus users from Europe and way higher from users from all other parts of the world besides North America and Europe. So for that reason, it's critical that Snap gain users from North America. They are worth arguably five to ten times as much as users from parts of the world outside of North America and Europe. Overall, Average revenue per user declined by 19% year over year, and that's likely a result of the two headwinds I mentioned earlier, the challenges in selling targeted advertising and the overall decline in ad revenue year over year. Operating cash flow improved to 157, 51 million, sorry, that was up from 127 million. So in cost cutting and cash management, the company did a good job. Those are areas they can control. But in terms of the macroeconomic environment where they can't control, those areas they had a more challenging time. Those areas they had more difficulty because Snap can't control the fact that um, 
the Federal Reserve is raising interest rates, which is decreasing economic activity, which is making enterprises more hesitant to spend money on advertising. That's out of SNAP's control. Another reason the stock price declined by nearly 20% is the company is not providing official guidance for the second quarter. And this becomes especially troubling when a company is in a downturn because by not providing the guidance, that just increases risk because there is a lack of transparency. Now investors don't know how bad the second quarter is going to be. They know it's going to be bad, but by not saying how bad it's going to be, Investors are like, how bad could it be? Could revenue decrease by 20% in the second quarter? 30%? 15%? Or is it going to be 5 or 6 7% again? So this lack of guidance is really putting investors at unease. Although management did provide unofficial guidance in their earnings call saying revenue is going to decrease again in the... Uh, in the high single digits but that's not official so it's not as comforting to investors as the official guidance is so to answer the question is this big stock price decrease justified i would say yes it is justified because snap is valued like a growth stock it's losing money on the bottom line and revenue is decreasing so you can't really justify a growth dependent valuation if you're not growing. And so for that reason, a big decrease in valuation is justified. All right. So that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you again soon.